Prime Minister, you've signed mutual security assurance in Stockholm. You hope to sign one in Finland. These aren't going to deter or stop Vladimir Putin, are they? And if not, what's the point? These are countries that uh, have been traditionally neutral. Uh, Sweden, Finland, uh, they're countries that pose no conceivable threat to, to Russia. But you've got to look at what's happening in, in Ukraine, and everybody's focusing on that. Now, uh, that's another country that posed absolutely no conceivable threat to, to Russia, and yet it was attacked in a, a vicious and unprovoked way. And what we're saying today, uh, us and the Swedes, us and uh, the Finns, is that uh, we will come to each other's assistance in the event of attack. Now, that shouldn't need saying, but it is worth saying in the current climate. And uh, what we're also saying is that this is the, the foundation stone on which we're going to build a closer defence and security partnership. Your Polish counterpart says that Putin is worse than Stalin or Hitler. Is he right? No, I think you've, leaving aside the, the, the historical polemics and, and, and parallels, you've just got to see what he is doing in, in Ukraine. This is an act of absolutely barbaric aggression against a country that literally had uh, done nothing uh, to uh, offend him, had done nothing wrong, uh, was simply trying, people trying to leave, uh, lead their lives in peace. And uh, he's continuing to shell, to bomb, uh, to uh, launch massive artillery attacks against innocent civilians. And he's got to be, he's got to be stopped. And what the, what the UK is trying to do is to give the Ukrainians every possible military assistance uh, to protect themselves and that is what we're going to continue to do and just on a domestic point there is an argument that given the extraordinary amounts of money that you're spending on ukraine which many people applaud you need to look at some way some way of getting money back in the uk the so-called yeah. windfall taxes yeah. you have the one boss of one company saying they're a cash machine century profits in their billions yeah. come on look, are you ruling look, out windfall I, taxes I, prime minister the, the the disadvantage with those sorts of taxes is that they deter investment in the very things that we, uh, we need to see them putting them up. They, they need to be investing in, uh, but, in new technology, in, in new energy supply. But for, the bosses say it won't deter them and, on and investing. Well, you know, then, then you know, we, we'll have to look at it. But so I've are got, you saying I, you will look I'm at windfall taxes? I want them to, to make those investments. That's the most important thing. They've got to be making investments in, uh, in new energy supply for our country. Well, here we are in, in Finland. We've just been in Sweden. Those guys, they've done brilliant. They've got... They've got they got nuclear power in in, uh, in Sweden in the, in the way that we don't have in in the UK. They've got hydro. Uh, they've got but, all sorts of resilience that we don't have. We've got to build in that resilience. Are I want you those big, ruling I want out those windfall big, taxes? I want those big energy companies. Just fine. To are you are you ruling them out? I don't like them. I don't think so. It's the not right happening. Thing. I don't think they're the right way okay. forward. Uh, I want those com those companies to make big big investments.